Hi, my name's Beth Wood and I'm the principal at Glenview Park. We're really looking forward to welcoming all of our grade eight Panthers here to Glenview. Here comes a Panther now. Hello there. What's your name? Glenn? Hi Glenn, nice to meet you. Welcome to Glenview. That's actually a good match for Glenview Park. What, what grade are you in? Five, six, seven, eight. Grade eight, you're in grade eight. All right, well welcome. We're happy to have you here. Do you want to go inside and have a look around? All right, let's go in. All right, one of your compulsory courses in grade nine, Glenn, will be science. Do you like science? Excellent. Okay, what do you know about science? E equals MC cubed, huh? Okay, all right, looks like we have a little work to do. There we go, there we go, you got it. All right, so here we are in English. That's one of your compulsory subjects next year in grade nine, Glenn. How do you, what's, oh, an apple. You brought an apple for the teacher. Excellent. Okay, that's a little bit of a cliche, but cliches are the kind of thing you're going to learn about in English, along with things like motifs and themes and a whole bunch of other things about the power of words and the power of language. So this was a really nice gesture. Thank you, Glenn. So, Glenn, what do you think about math? You like math? Oh, that is excellent because there's all kinds of exciting things going on in math at Glenview. In fact, if you can figure out this problem, then you're gonna learn a little bit something um, about math at Glenview Park. You know the answer? Excellent, excellent. Um, so here we are in French, and what do you know about French, Glenn? Excellent. So geography is one of the subjects that is compulsory in grade nine, Glenn. How do you feel about that? Excellent, because we know that geography makes the world go round, doesn't it? So this is a history classroom, and history is a compulsory subject, but not in, until grade 10. Do you like history, Glenn? Yeah, well, unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait till grade 10 to take history. So visual art is one of the options that you have in grade nine, Glenn. It's one of the electives that you can choose. Do you like art? Okay, excellent. So I see you have your Glenview Art smock on, so you're ready to create, and we've got some fantastic paints out here ready for making some beautiful art kind of like what these students have made but I think Glenn you know what I think rather than getting all the art out and getting it caught in your fur today I think we're going to save that for when you come to high school in grade nine so this is the business studies uh, department and in in grade nine students can choose um, to take one of two business courses so as you can see, students are learning a little bit about business technology, about advertising, about marketing, about accounting, and all little bits of, of business studies. So those are good options also um, when you're choosing your electives in grade nine. So you like music, you said? All right, excellent. Well, this is our music room. There's instrumental music and vocal music. So if you like to sing, if you like to play, there is a spot for you. So, all right, Glenn wants to play basketball. So, Glenn, how do you like the weight room? Right. Okay, excellent, excellent. You want to try doing a little weightlifting. Okay, well, I don't know how well it's going to work with your big old panther head there, but uh, there we go. All right, and you always need to safety first. That's right, it's much easier when you just lift air. Well, Glenn, do you like drama? You do, okay, well, let's, this is the drama room where students learn about dr dramatic arts. So why don't you just take a moment and be dramatic? So family studies is where students learn about all kinds of things, including they do a little bit of cooking. Um, yep, yeah, and they can use the, the freezer. Very good, Glenn. Um, but not only that, they also learn about relationships and families. Yes, including families of panthers, exactly. Like your little uh, siblings that you brought along with you. 
So we're in the wood shop right now, and this is also called construction technology. And lots of woodworking goes on in here and building things. So this is kind of a cool example. Um, the students have upcycled our old bleachers, which we tore out of the gym um, earlier this fall, and they're making it into other furniture that we're going to be able to use around the school. So that's just a really cool example of how Glenview recycles. All right, let's head out to the auto shop. So this is the auto shop. This is where students learn all about automotive technology. As you can see, there's fires, there's cars on hoist, lots of tools, lots of safety things that students learn in here. I'm in the shop next door. They work on small engines, so it's a slightly different version of what they're learning in, in auto. All right, Glenn, so this room is the room where we uh, teach tech design. Um, so students get to do some really cool stuff like 3D modeling and building some other models uh, back in the back of the classroom using computers, etc. So it's a really cool option for students. All right, let's head into some of the other shops. All right, Glenn, so now we're in the greenhouse and this is where the green industries program is taught. So you can see that students learn a little bit about some animals. Um, and we have a chicken over here. And if you look on the other side of the greenhouse, you can see some of the plants the students have started to grow. Um, so this is just a really cool part of the technology program, Green Industries. All right, Glenn, so now we're in the manufacturing shop, manufacturing technology, where students learn all kinds of skills and a lot of safety things, um, having to do, for example, with machining, and they're able to build all kinds of practical items. Um, and again, it's just another really cool part of the technology program. So Glenn, this is the, the room where students learn cosmetology and hairstyling um, and get to do all kinds of practical hands-on work. So it's really fun. Um, again, it's of course not in grade nine, but in grades 10, 11, and 12, but something that you can look forward to. So now that we've styled your hair, why don't we spin you around and what do you think? This is the commercial kitchen, Glenn, where students learn how to cook and, and develop culinary skills, knife skills, cooking skills and all that kind of thing and uh, it's, it's a course that students don't take until they're in grade 10 or 11 or 12 but it's kind of cool to see that that might be an option for you once you're um, beyond grade 9. This is the guidance office and this is where the guidance counselors do their work with students and your guidance counselor will help you with all kinds of things course selection uh, timetable adjustments um, anything you need, really, um, you can always come and see your guidance counselor. So we're in the library right now, which is right in the middle of the school, the heart of the school. Um, this is where students can come to get books, but the library is, is so much more than books. Um, it includes all kinds of technology and we use it for all kinds of reasons to help kids learn. So Glenn, sometimes students need um, help with their work and that's okay. We have a learning assistance center in LAC at Glenview where students can come in and get help. And here we dream big, set goals, and take action. And this is the stage in the West Gym. This is where we do all kinds of assemblies and eventually when you graduate from high school, this is where you'll get your diploma.